Hello everyone! Um, it's been a while since I made a video. Like, three weeks, I think. A lot of stuff's been going on, and you can probably hear that stupid hum from my computer, because I'm doing this on my webcam again. I started filming on my phone, and then suddenly my phone decided to stop. Uh, it, doesn't, it still records, but I can't get it to the cloud, and I can't get it off my phone. So, there we go. I don't know what's wrong with it, but... I can't film on my phone anymore, so I'm sorry. You have to deal with it a little bit longer because, in good news, I have a job again. Yay! I have a job again. I'm very happy. Um, I work front desk at a motel. Not exactly the thing I was looking for. I have a lot of officer man office manager experience, and I was hoping for something along those lines, but not really. <laughs> I was just looking for something different. This is different. Um, I kind of feel like this is the place I should be. And it's very nice having a job again. So, after I get some bills sorted out, um, I'm going to be getting a new camera for filming. So, that will be better quality. And hopefully I'll have a mic too. Um, I know I don't have a lot of followers, but it's something I have fun doing. And... I'm kind of looking forward to that, because I think my lighting situation is, act is actually pretty good. Um, beyond that, it's been just kind of weird the past few weeks. We had some massive amounts of flooding, um, so I was, my dad owned several houses. I was helping him clean up the houses that got damaged. We had to go and replace carpet, um, made some money that way, but it is what it is. It is Halloween. I'm actually filming this on Halloween. I am dressed up as a friar. This is my go-to costume because it's thin and where I, I live in Southern California and it's still pretty hot. Um, yeah, so that's like an update of where I've been. I'm sorry. Um, from now on, I should be doing at least one video a week, maybe more. I, don't, I didn't really have a set schedule before. I just kind of made a video when I had an idea, and which was usually a few times a week. Um, but today, I'm coming to you with a happy Halloween and a little book haul. So the first book is Saint Germain on Alchemy, Formulas for Self-Transformation. And this is not the normal type of self-help book that I buy. First of all, it's very thick for a self-help book. And second, it's way more like metaphysic frou-frou stuff that I normally, like, irritates me, I think. The back cover talks about the Count of St. Germain, who was a real person. I think he was alive in the 1700s. Now, he was known, um, he was a member of nobility. There was rumors about his heritage that he claimed to be, I think, the son of a prince or the son of the king of... I can't remember. Transylvania, I think. I could be wrong. But he was known for his humor. Um, he messed around in alchemy. And then after his death, people claimed that he came back, that he kept on visiting royalty, um, and stuff like that. Like, he became immortal even though he did die. And this talks about him, about how he used spiritual alchemy to turn lead into gold, and all this stuff, and it just seems very fascinating. I don't know if I'll learn anything from it, because I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I think it's, I would like to, but I want to know if it's just, like, really crazy, crazy stuff, or if it's just kind of, like, tongue-in-cheek, like, um, You Are Badass is kind of a tongue-in-cheek, metaphysic, but not really metaphysical book. So we'll see. Um... If it's good or bad, I don't know, but I will definitely be doing a review on this at some point in the future. Next is Swords and Scoundrels by Julian Knight, and this is a fantasy book. It is about a brother and sister team of duelists who are kicked out of the duelist guild, and then they, um, then they resort to banditry. And then after that, they kind of discover a chest after they rob somebody. And 
it puts them on a plot to restore a king to power. So we'll see how that goes. This one I'm actually super excited about. The Unexpected Inheritance of Inspector Chopra by Basim Khan. And this is about a detective who is close to retiring. Aren't they all? And he gets wrapped up in a case about a drowned boy that no one wants to seem to seems to want to be solved. Then um, he inherits an elephant. And it's it's a delightful and uplifting. And I'm just like, that seems so cool. It's also set in Mumbai. So I'm just super excited about it. I really hope it's a good book. This one, I'm only sort of excited about. I got it because it was on sale um, from Barnes & Noble. And I'm hoping it's good. It's called Skyborn by David Dal Dal Dalglish. Now, this is about a world where there are seven floating islands that are in civil war, and people have wings, and it's about a brother and a sister who join the Seraphim, which are, I guess, like elite mages, and that's really all it says. I'm hoping it turns out to be interesting. A lot of these are big books, too, and I'm not a very big fan of big books. The next one is one that I thought just looked fun. Frank L. Cole's The Afterlife Academy. And this is about two 12-year-old boys. One is dead, and one has a magic book, and they have to protect the book and stop the end of the world. So, I think that'll be fun. Probably a super easy read. Next comes Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I've just heard a lot of hype about it. And I'm always interested in reading something that's not really in my normal headspace. I normally don't go for anything like... I don't know if this is really sci-fi or what it is. I guess it's kind of like it's um, future dystopia fiction. I don't know. I really don't know what you'd call it. But I guess it's a dystopia, nor which I don't, don't enjoy, normally like, but... I figure I'll give that one a shot. This one I'm super excited about because it's my base, my favorite video game, Dishonored, The Veiled Terror. Now, there are three books written by Adam Christopher in the this Dishonored series. They take place, the first book takes place between the first and second game, the second book takes place between the second and third game, and this takes place after the third game. Um, I am really excited about it. Because Billy Lurk, the main character on the cover, is my favorite character from the series. She has so much personality. In the third uh, game, she's the main character. She loses an arm and an eye, and they become um, twisted by the void. And, ooh, I'm just so, so excited. So excited about that. And this is a book that I actually bought because it was a recommendation from Sam over at Sarcasm and Sci-Fi. And that is Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes. Now, again, it's one of those books that I'm not really... It's not really the thing I normally read. But it does sound interesting. It is, I believe, her favorite book. And I know it's going to be sad. I read the back. It's going to be sad. I can tell. That's where it's going. But I am interested to see how it goes. And that is it for books. I will definitely be doing a review about this one. Because... I'm very curious. And that's really it. Today is Halloween. I'm going to be go spending my time watching Rocky Horror and then take my nephew trick-or-treating. And I will see you guys all later.